Hey, Fire family. Happy Monday. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition, and I am here to do a collective reading for you all. This is going to be a general reading. It is a collective reading. It is for all zodiac signs. So guys, please do only take what resonates with you and never force it to fit. All right, so let's talk to my loves. Let's see what's going on with you all for today. Please do excuse the noise. My fan is on, and I hope it's not muffling in the camera. I hope it's not. I tested it, and it wasn't. But y'all know I could not record without socks on and without my fan on. And I have the air on, the windows open. I don't know, like... <laughs> I don't know. Call it weird if y'all want to, y'all. Like, I'm the type of person that has the air on and the window crack when I drive. Like, I don't know. I just have to feel both. Like, I can't be too cold and I can't be too hot. But, I don't know. I keep adjusting my fan. And it's been, like, in the readings lately I've been hearing it. Especially since I moved my desk and stuff. So, again, I do apologize if you guys hear it. Because that's the noise you hear in the background. But I need my fan, y'all. I need my fan. Like, I could not work or sleep without my fan. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm making product, doing readings, if I'm asleep, but I've got to have my fan. I don't know why. So, sorry, y'all. But let's talk in. Let's see what's going on with you guys. I'm going to pull a few cards um, and see what the tea is. Um, and then we'll hop into the reading. Um, really quick, guys. Um, sorry about that. Yes, really quick. I am doing a September special. So buy one, get one free personal readings. All the information will be pinned in the comments below. You guys can also check the community tab. So if you guys purchase the in-depth love reading, you guys will get the monthly forecast reading for free. So you guys get two readings for the price of one. Um, and it's going to be for a limited time. First come, first serve. I've only um, put so many appointments on it since, it, you know, it's two readings in one. So if that is something you guys are interested in, definitely check the um, comments below and the community tab. All you guys can just go to my website, fireintuition.com, and it should pop up, okay? Um, other than that, let's hop in, guys. I hope you guys are having an amazing Monday. Yes, let's see. Universe, what's the tea? Please give me some messages for the collective. What is the tea? What's going on for today, Monday? And we are in Virgo season, so happy birthday, Virgo. Y'all know I love me some Virgos. All right, so let's see. All right, let's see. Messages for the collective. All right, so we got bad karma that came out. I wonder what that is, bad karma. We got bad karma. That's what the T is so far. We got boss bitch. Runs on business, stable, busy. All right, so let's see. And then we have head in the clouds. Oh, okay. So I kind of get what this is. We got okay. So we got boss bitch and then we got head in the clouds. I'm gonna pull one more card because what I'm feeling here is I hope somebody's not lying to you guys. And I know it says bad karma. I don't feel like that's you guys. I feel like that's what's gonna happen to somebody. Um, or somebody is like gonna get some karma because I feel as if somebody likes you and they look at you as like a boss. Like they're like, oh, I like this person. I really like them. But I feel like they got your head in the clouds. That's my honesty for me. I feel like they got your head, your head in the clouds, and I feel like it could be somebody else involved. Don't want to say it like that. Yeah, we have thief. Yep, caught a case. Okay, so it says rob, lost, that physical or emotional. Yeah, and I feel like somebody is either going through it with somebody in another relationship, or somebody is in between you and somebody else, or an ex, or something like that. Uh, we're gonna clarify and see and I feel like they're robbed. They, they like robbed you of your emotions You know, like they're taking advantage of how like they're taking advantage of you emotionally Okay, and physically so I like, having sex with you all into you you're catching feelings You are a boss. I feel like this could also be distracting you guys But maybe you're not looking at it as you know This person is distracting you because I feel like you're so caught up into this person and I feel like you guys like them but I really feel like somebody has your head in the clouds and See how there's a female here. That's what I'm saying. And it's a guy here. But I feel like with this card here, I feel like they're also confused. Because like I said, I feel like there's somebody else. I feel like they're in, they're in their head as well about a situation. About somebody. They're Vivian. Looking for dirt or vice versa. So yeah, I feel like you've been also kind of feeling some type of way. And I feel like you've been trying to like get to the bottom of it. Like So it could be, for example, that you really like somebody. And you're like, I like them. It seems too good to be true or... It could be where 
you like like somebody and you just maybe feel like something is off. You might just be like, I don't know, something's off, something doesn't feel right. They're not messaging me as much. They're acting like funny. You might be like one day they're really into you, the next day they're not. You know, it's something like that. But I feel as if they're getting, they're going to get their karma or something like that. Because I feel like they're doing something to you that you're unaware of. Okay, but I feel like it has to do with your feelings. Okay, um... Somebody is clout hungry and says, says anything, does anything, makes shit up dramatic. I feel like that's what this is. Like somebody is just making shit up or being dramatic. Somebody could be going through some type of legal issues, dealing with the court, having to hire a lawyer. It can be marriage. We have blocks. I feel like somebody is going to eventually block you on everything or they're about to block you guys and be moving forward. But yeah, see, look, we have moving. Somebody could be moving in with somebody and not telling you or like moving away from the relationship. Doesn't have to be like a physical move. But when I see, when I see moving, yeah, there's boxes on here. But I feel like somebody has some shit boxed up, meaning like they're keeping things from you. They're keeping something hidden. They're not telling you the truth. Somebody's not being 100 and we have ain't shit. Okay. And I also feel like with this fake flex and it says, acts rich, bosses money, acts fancy, show off. Hmm. I want to see what this is about because I feel like honestly all together somebody is just not really being who they say they are like somebody is just not who you who you think they really are but I feel like it has to go down to like I don't know why I'm picking up third party or somebody else or something like that like I feel like there's something they're not telling you yep and they're going to be haunted by this memories like okay yeah and I feel like it's going to fuck with them and that's where they're going to get their karma from I feel like it's going to something's going to fuck with them like I feel like they're going to like just be like I don't know. I thought they're going to feel really bad about something or they're just going to get their karma. You know, or the person they're dealing with or the other person is like bad news, bad karma. But let me pull a love oracle to kind of see what this is because I'm telling you like something doesn't seem right. I just, that's just what I'm feeling even before I pull, pull the cards. Like that's just what I'm getting. So let's see. We got bad karma here. Why is the bad karma card here? Us. See? And it's going to be all due to a downgrade or whoever they were with. They don't have shit on you. And I feel as if they might choose that person over you or you're going to find out about them or something like that. We have us. One or both people are falling in love. And I feel like you're either falling in love with this person, okay, or both of you guys have fallen in love with each other. And that's clarifying bad karma because somebody is telling you, like, no, it's going to be us. We're together. Like, I fuck with you. You're my girl, blah, 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 blah. I want it to just be us or something like that. And I feel like that's not the that's not what's really going to gonna happen or that's not really what's, on, what's going on. See, that you guys are dating this person. And then we have downgrade. You are settling and you know it. And I feel like that's where the bad karma is. I feel like they're downgrading. I feel like they're settling in a situation that is a downgrade. Or somebody that's just not on your level or somebody that they really don't want to be with. But for some reason, I feel as if they may go back to this person. I'm not sure why. Let's see what they robbed you guys of with the theft card. Because we have thief. Let's see. Let's pull on that. And then we're going to um, pull some material. Let's see something real quick. Do I want to pull it from the what's brewing? Sorry, guys. Yeah, let's pull it from the what's brewing with the bad karma. Sorry, y'all. My decks are behind me now. I have, like, a little setup because um, of how my desk is. So, let's see. What's brewing with the bad karma? See, betrayal. That's what's brewing. Deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. So, yeah, something's going on. and But they're going to get bad karma, I feel like, for either how they're doing you or it has to do with whoever they're choosing or whatever they got going on. It's just like they're just going to put themselves in a bad situation. Going to theft, I mean thief, perfectly imperfect. So nobody is perfect, including you. Allow grace to yourself and others. So it's like this person knows like they're not perfect. They know that this person is up to something. And I feel like this person is not, tr like how they look at it or how they see it is like they weren't trying to come in and, you know, like fall in love with you or have you fall in love with them. And I thought like a part of them does feel bad, you know, for robbing you emotionally and physically. Or you know what they're doing to you emotionally and physically. But we're going to see. Let's pull a ruin card on that. Let's see. Why um, clarify the uh, key card? Wait, what's ruin? Let's see. Coming in after you. Oh, wow. Okay. So for some of you guys, what I'm getting is... Um, we got coming in after you. So, 
once this ends or if this does end or something like that, it's like somebody else is going to come in after this person. That's what I'm getting. Like, it, it, it might be, like, to where you're going to really get what you want from somebody else after this situation. Um, because this looks like they're on the horse. This is like a knight. They got a knight outfit on, like, you know, like a knight in China armor. And it says coming in after you. And you're going to be in a situation that you thought was, like, perfect. You um, were in a situation where you thought everything was great. It was beautiful. You guys are going to be together forever. You were falling in love. And that's what's coming in next. For some of you guys. Yeah, because look, the person that you thought was perfect with the perfectly imperfect card is toxic. And we have poison on the bottle. But whoever this is, they're coming in after you. Like after them is what I'm feeling. Okay? So it's like after this situation ends, I feel like you guys do have something way better coming in with this card. Okay? Like I, I that's what I'm getting. But we'll see. Let's pull the cards and see what we get. Yeah. Yeah, guys, let's see what we get. All right, but that's what's brewing, and that's the tea right now, okay? So what's brewing, what's the tea? That's what we got. All right, so let's pull the material and see what's going on. Universe, what's going on? What's, what's this all about? What's going on? What's going on? Let's see, y'all. What's going on, universe? All right, so we have the High Priestess in Reverse that came out first. High Priestess in Reverse, Pisces energy, but this is someone being secretive, keeping secrets. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And look, this clarifies everything I just said. Not saying that a knight is bad to this king, but this is the person I feel like you guys have fallen for, that you guys have these strong feelings for, that you're in love with, or they're in love with you. But look, remember what I told you guys coming in after you. After this situation, look, the knight comes in. We got the knight in shining armor on here. We got somebody in a knight suit or whatever. You know how people like, you know how, like, what's it called? I think it's the knight people or whatever. Like, people that fight with the little swords. So, if y'all seen, um, what is it? What did we just go see? Orphan 2. The first kill, and remember the son was, like, fighting with, like, the knives and stuff or whatever. The swords, whatever you call it. So, like, you know how they wear the knight suits? That's what this reminds me of. But I see it as like a good thing because the knight in shining armor, like somebody sweeping off your feet. All right. And look with that. Look, we got justice. There's going to be a ton of events. And the new, I feel like you guys are definitely going to choose the new love. Or it's just like new love is going to come in because there's going to be a ton of events. Something is going to change in this situation and it's going to end up being better for you. But we have the high priestess in reverse. That's the first card out. And the high priestess in reverse is somebody that is a secret here. They're lying or keeping something from you. They could have another person. It could be third party. This could be somebody that's just hiding their feelings. This is somebody, look, higher font reverse could be a Taurus. But I feel like they don't want a relationship or a commitment right now. They just want to keep it open. Or you guys have some type of open relationship. Or maybe you, maybe they're telling you that they want to be with you. This person could be very good at lying as far as having two relationships. So living a double life. You know, look, King of Wands in reverse. As soon as I said that, yep, look. Wow, it clarified everything I just said. So that's what this is about. Somebody who's living a double life and being very secretive. And I feel like their intentions like, are to go towards somebody else. Because there's a relationship or a commitment or somebody that they're with or we're with for a long time or long term. Like, even though we have a four of wands in reverse, look what we have. The this, this star is here. And they're looking to heal a relationship with somebody. Or they're wanting to heal a relationship with somebody. Unless this is you guys. If this is you, then this is telling me that you guys were together. This is your ex. They met somebody else. They do have feelings for this person, though. But they're going to come back to you. Or, like I said, this is somebody that you just met. And you guys have feelings for each other. Um, but they're choosing whoever this long-term relationship, whoever they were with, they're, they're going to put work and energy into that. Or it's like their relationship was kind of upside down. You know, when they were thinking about moving on, but now they're thinking about fixing and healing the relationship. And then we have the tower reverse. See, somebody is trying to avoid an ending. Somebody doesn't want to end something. Somebody may have said they wanted to end something with this person or end something with you, but they changed their mind. Yep. What came out? The five of cups. And this person feels bad and they're having regrets now. They do feel bad. And they were, I feel as if this person was calling in love because we had the two cups behind them. And they could have been calling in a soulmate or calling in love and thought the other relationship wasn't going to work out. Because I feel like at the time, they were going to end things or they were pretty much sure that things were ending. They knew that this situation was toxic or whoever this was, they didn't want to be with them. See, but look, it's still not over. Death cards in reverse. The ex is still involved. 
they are still dealing with the ex very heavy or somebody is still dealing with you very heavy and you are the ex and they're talking to somebody new but the new person is going to get hurt so however it goes the new person is definitely going to get hurt because somebody is going to decide when they weigh things up okay or when they look at both situations somebody is going to go back to their long-term relationship or who they were with the longest okay but like i said we have bad karma here so I'm not even about to look into how it's going to play out when they get back with that person or when they get back to you, get back with you, okay? But there is some karma around this, bad karma around this situation. I will say that, okay? Um, let's pull a couple more cards. Let's see what else we got. Ace of Cups in reverse. For some of you guys, it was a rebound situation. And I hate to say it like this, but I'm always going to go off how I feel and I'm always going to trust my intuition. And I know sometimes you guys don't want to hear certain things from readers or... You guys may go jump in the comments like, oh, you're supposed to be on our side. You're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do that. But I have to tell the story how it is. Y'all know I don't sugarcoat and I keep it 100. Okay? Somebody is going to get hurt in this situation. Somebody was a rebound or the Ace of Cups reverse can definitely be a breakup. Okay? And I feel like it's with the same person that told you they wanted to move forward with you. King of Swords could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have the King of Cups. All right? So this person, like I said, they do have feelings for you. They do. Okay? But... They're showing up as the king of wands in reverse with a higher font in reverse. Somebody that is non-committal. So I feel like in this situation, you got to ask yourself, is it is this something that you really want and is it, is it worth it? Because if you win this person or if, I'm not even going to say win because you should, no, let's take that out. If you decide to keep dealing with this person, are they, are they going to give you what you really want? Okay, are they going to give you what you really are looking for and need? Is it worth it? If this person is coming back to you and you guys are getting back together, will this person do this to you again? Okay? Because it look, they're doing it and they're doing a good job at it. And for a lot of you, this was a new love. But like I said, you guys have new love coming in because something is going to turn around in this situation. There's still going to be a new beginning in love. So it's just like, I don't want you guys to feel as if you guys are taking a huge loss in this situation. Maybe that's how the universe wants it to unfold. But to look at their energy, I mean, look, but I'm sorry, to look, looking at their energy right here, it looks like this is something that they do, honestly. They keep living this secret double life when they don't get their way with whoever they're with, they're with somebody else, they're keeping an open relationship, but then it's like, to them, they're committed to both of you guys, but really not. It is the pen, whoever's giving them more. The king of wands reverse can be somebody that's very aggressive, very controlling, Okay, very dominant, somebody that wants their way and wants to have their way. And when they don't get their way, they're not going to put action and time and energy to you. They're going to act like you don't mean shit, like you don't matter, like you were nothing. That's how the King of Wands in reverse does, especially with the higher font reverse. They're like, for some of you guys, they come out, oh, we were just fucking, we were just friends. You know, like I never told you to catch feelings. It was never like that. So it's like, but it's like this person does have feelings, but that I'm just giving you examples of how the King of Wands in reverse will be with this energy. But whoever this is, they told you that they loved you, they cared about you, they saw a future, they wanted a future with you. And maybe that is how this person felt at the time. So this is also giving me whoever this is you guys are dealing with, they tell you stuff based on how they feel at that time or in that moment with you. Okay? So keep that in mind. All right? Let's pull one more card. Messages for the collective. Give me one more card for this reading. What else does a click of me to know? Two more cards came out. Let's see. We have the Empress and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So again, not to tell you guys like this, but whoever they were with could be the mother of their child, could even be their wife. There is a long-term relationship that they were in. They are going to choose to go back to that person. Okay? My thing is, let that person deal with it. I feel bad for both sides because it's like, even if they go back to that person, this person what? <laughs> Oh, we, uh, where was it at? I probably didn't pull it out. But I remember seeing, hey, shit, we had the card. I probably put it back in the deck. Okay? Now, for some of you guys, this is you. You are the empress. And you deserve so much more and so much better than what this person is given. Okay? With the empress here, and we have the seven of pentacles. You guys are ready and fully invested. You guys are, like, you guys are ready to fully invest in this person. You guys are ready. Like, you were ready. Okay? Um... You get a cup of my, you get something to drink. You guys were ready, okay? Um, So 
Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. That was Baby Connor. I was checking on Baby Connor. That was his teacher. All right, sorry. So, um, yeah, so some of you guys were really invested and ready, like really invested and ready, okay, um, to give your all to this relationship. But I just feel like the universe ha has other plans, all right? Ten of Swords overall in, re in reverse is like, this is a new beginning. This is starting over, but the Ten of Swords in reverse is also a card of like, like you guys could like, how can I put it? They could be, I don't feel like this applies to you guys, but they're starting over with somebody and more than likely, this might happen again, okay, with whoever this other person is. Or if they're starting over with you, this more than likely can happen again, all right? So keep that in mind. See, look. And it's like somebody's going to win in this situation. Somebody's going to actually get the relationship they want. Somebody's actually going to have the Ten of Cups and be happy and move forward while the other person is sad and depressed and their relationship is not working out. And they're going to be like, damn. Could be a Leo, could be a fire sign, but somebody's going to be like sad and depressed. Their relationship's not working out. They're going to realize they're not who, you know, like they're not with who they really want to be with. But maybe it was children or history or something. Or maybe, like I said, it was just time invested. So they were just like, you know what, I'm just going to stay with this person. And you're going to move forward and you're going to be happy. You're going to build and have a strong relationship with somebody with the strength card and the ten of cups. And then we have the nine of cups. And they're going to, it's this person, because look, while they were over here trying to avoid an ending, you know, and healing a relationship and going back to somebody, they're still, look, not where they really want to be at. They're not really happy. Two of Pentacles, look, Six of Cups in reverse. There's going to be another breakup. And you're going to move forward and move happy and, and have your new relationship, have your Ten and Nine of Cups. You're meeting somebody in a high vibrational energy. Y'all are really going to be like, if you think you like them, y'all are really going to like this new person. And it's going to be amazing. Like, y'all are going to be happy. Like, seriously happy. And it's going to be a strong relationship. But with the strength card, that means that the, that you guys are being tested. Something had to happen in order for the strength card to be here. And now you're going towards, like I said, a more healthy, like this, a healthier relationship. I promise you guys, it's going to be a lot better after this ends. But the Ace of Pentacles, you're getting the commitment. Are you going to get a commitment that you want? But I do feel as if this person is treating you guys along and having you guys think that it's it's not what it looks like you know and i feel like some of you guys i feel like your intuition is trying to tell you that your intuition could be a little foggy maybe you're so caught up in this person emotionally that um maybe you're so caught up in this person emotionally that you can't see see that you know what i'm saying like you can't see that but then i feel like maybe you can you know so let's see about the high priestess in reverse going to the high priestess in reverse yeah so, look, the high priestess is in reverse. We have the three of swords in reverse. I feel like the best thing to do is just forget this person and move on. But they're going to come out of a third party. They are going to choose to be with somebody. And the knight of pentacles is in reverse. So, it's like somebody is not going to move forward with you. There's a, like there's an offer. They're not going to make an offer. If you were waiting for an offer, that's not going to happen. They're going to come out of a third party with you and go back to somebody. Page of swords, they're going to block you. Okay, they're going to block you, ignore you, act as if nothing happened. And I told you, look, they're going back to the Empress. And this person does not even know. This person is not even aware. Uh-oh. See? Could be a Pisces, Taurus, um, or a Libra. This person does not know, but they're going to block you. Or they're going to start acting funny towards you, saying things, being rude, disrespectful, hate the source. But they're going to be blocked. They're going to block you or try to act funny. Like, you're going to hit them up and they're going to just try to act funny. Like, what you mean? Like, it was never like that. It was not, you know, something like that. Like, putting on the front. They're going to just definitely try to end things with you with the death card. Going to the higher front reverse. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Yep. See, they're going to choose to go towards a commitment, Ace of Pentacles. But I feel like it's somebody that they've already been with. And they're going to tell you that you guys have had nothing but an open relationship. And we have a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Wands in reverse. So whoever they were committed to, whoever this is, because strongly be a tourist, they're going to go back to this person. Does not have to be that though, but um, I will tell you guys with the with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Wands in reverse, right? In this person, if you guys are pulling cards on this person or this situation, don't become obsessed with trying to get answers because that's how the Queen of Pentacles can be sometimes, and she can wear herself out trying to pull cards, trying to get information, trying to get her herbs together, trying to do spells or rituals, trying to like do something to go in her favor and stuff like that, and it becomes an obsession or it's like you're just dying to know an answer. So you're pulling cards every time, pulling cards every day. Now, taking the love part out, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Wands in reverse, some of you guys just aren't moving forward in things that you're trying to do. Projects, love, 
your career, your finances, because when you become addicted to pulling cards and doing tarot, it kind of stops and blocks the flow of things. So, for example, it can even be to the point where, like, I'm not going to call this person out because I know they watch me, but I'll just call them after. But, and I told this person several times, they'll pull cards on anything. Like, this person pulls cards on everything. And I love this person to death, but I had to tell them, like, you got to stop doing that because you're going to block your abundance, your flow of things. Like, for example, it can be, um, they could have got a flat tire. And they'll be like, why did I get a flat tire? Did somebody do this on purpose? And sometimes shit just happens. Or should I not have ate chicken for dinner? Why does my stomach hurt? Shit like that. Some people become so obsessed with so obsessed with tarot that it stops and blocks your flow of things. It is not that you guys can't listen to tarot. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying when you start to pull cards for yourself and you want to know every little thing that's going on, it stops and blocks things because you get so caught up in what you're seeing in the cards that you're going to believe that everything that happened or everything that you're going through or you're seeing is for that reason. And sometimes we don't see the messages as clearly when somebody else is reading them for us or telling us about it we're just gonna whatever the first thing that comes to our mind we're gonna go with that and it's not saying like don't trust your intuition but sometimes even as a reader you can block your intuition when it comes to reading cards for yourself especially if a negative card comes out because you don't want to hear it you don't if the devil and the ten of swords came out you don't want to see that so that's what i'm saying but somebody could be obsessed with tarot or you know like doing ritual stuff like that and it's not moving forward Okay, or it's not it's not gonna help move this forward. For others of you, what I'm getting with this card here is you knew that there was somebody else. They told you from the beginning, or they told you eventually. And you accepted being the side person. You accepted being the other woman because you wanted you thought you were you just knew you were gonna get a relationship. Okay? And the three of wands reverse is saying like they're going to go back to the empress or go back to whoever, okay? And the empress doesn't have to be that this person is, you know, no, I'm not saying like the empress is somebody that's better than you or anything. I'm looking at the card as far as like the title, mother of their child, a wife, or somebody that they're living with, something like that. That person could be a bad person or whatever they told you or whatever you know of that person. So don't go in the comments like, oh no, that's just a karmic fuck, da, 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 da. I'm going off the energy of the card, okay? So you would know where you stand. You would, if you're an empress, you know for sure. You don't even have to say anything about it. So six of swords, like I said, they're going to move forward and act as if nothing happened. And you're going to be like, this is where they robbed you at. See the seven of swords, you're like, wow. So you just took advantage of me physically and emotionally. And now you're moving forward. And now you're just going to block me and just move forward in your relationship and act like nothing happened. That's what this is telling me. That's exactly what this is telling me right here. If you try to confront them or tell the other person, they're gonna they're gonna lie about it. They're gonna tell the other person that they don't know who you are and why you're hitting them up and stuff like that. All right, let's see King of Wands reverse. Yep, this person was living a double life. This person was keeping things hidden, was keeping you in the dark. This person definitely was lying. Okay, this person was definitely looking for a fling. Page of Wands reverse, and this person was selfish, and this person was thinking about themselves. And I feel like at first they wanted down to and gave me what they want. Then they stopped that. Or this person was also using and take a, taking advantage at the same time. We're going to the moon with the king of wands in reverse. Will of fortune in reverse. This is the person that's going to get the bad karma. That's what I'm saying. So they are going to go. This is a karmic lesson for them. I feel like it's for both you guys. But they're going to end up getting the bad karma while you guys start over and have a new beginning. Or go towards a new beginning. Whether it be in love whether it be in a job, starting a business, we have the king of swords, something's going to definitely go in your favor after some type of breakup. See? After a breakup, something's going to definitely move forward and go in your favor. So I just feel like whatever this is, you guys are going to get something good out of it. Why is the five of cups here? Knight of swords reverse. They're going to look at it like, damn, I missed out on this opportunity. I messed up. But I feel like at the same time, they knew they had a relationship and they started to miss their kids and they did want to eventually go back or I just feel like, a part of them wanted to go back to their relationship. I thought this person also knew that they couldn't give you a committed relationship. Not right now. But you're getting one, though. You're meeting a soulmate. You have new love coming in. Going to the Ace of Cups reverse. Yep, see, I told you guys, after a breakup, you're meeting somebody new. Knight of Cups is here. Yep. Four of Wands reverse. They're going to try to also come back to you guys, too. Because something is still not working out in their relationship. 
and they thought that that's what they should have did and they should have went back to that person and they're going to see that they shouldn't see it's not a happy home it's not what they really wanted but i don't know i don't know i can't i'm not even about to ask why they went back and it's not a happy home oh because that's on they dumb ass so i don't know all right so um it's not a happy home that's what it is and there's going to be a lot of arguing i feel like that's what they do in their other relationship they argue a lot there's going to be a lot of arguing. The messages for the collective. Why is the Empress here? And who is this Empress? Yep, told you. This is the person that they were lying to you guys about. Let me see who. I mean, four of cups. And this person was bored, lonely, and vulnerable in this relationship with this Empress. And was looking for something new and different. This is the person that they lied to about the person that they were undecided about. And I told you that this person is one-sided and selfish. And they are going to stop giving in to you to go back to this relationship. But they're not giving that person any more than what they were giving them before. So like I said, I wouldn't even like, yeah, see that? Look, they're going back to the ex. They're going back to whoever this is. Or the mother of their child or something like that. And we have judgment in reverse. This is, gonna, this is a repeated lesson. Look, everybody's learning a lesson here. You... The ex or the baby mom or the wife and them. Because look, we have judgment in reverse. They keep going through lessons with this person. But this is a lesson for you. It's an eye opener for you. And then they're going to get the bad karma for how they're doing both of you guys. Okay? So, um, why is the seven of pentacles here? Told you the, the hermit in reverse. They were kind of sad and depressed and were looking for something new, wanted something different. See, look. Not to say it like this, guys, but look, Queen of Wands is in reverse. They were looking for some action, a side piece, somebody on the side to have sex with somebody. They were looking for some passion, excitement, something they weren't getting out of their relationship. But it's like they were invested in this other person or they have history. But then the Seven of Pentacles tells me that's what they're contemplating. That's what they're thinking about. Should I stay with the mother of my child or my wife or the person that already knows me and been with me? Or should I start something new with this other person that just met me? And that's where they were confused. Seven of Cups. There was a lot of confusion. A lot of confusion. And I will say the time that they spent with you or the time you're around them, you really did make them happy. You gave them a lot of wish fulfillment, a lot of happiness with the sun here. I feel like they haven't been as happy in a long time. But the hold up and the stagnancy is due to them already having something else. Could be a Pisces. Whoever this was, they were very secretive. Okay? They were they're very good at keeping things to themselves. They're very good at what they do. And I feel like if you didn't know and they didn't tell you that there was somebody else, you were not honestly expecting this to be your story, your situation. That is what I'm getting. You were not expecting that. Alright? So let's pull a couple more cards from um what's the T? Give me a couple more cards. Alright. So we have creeping so that confirms everything i said this person was definitely creeping we have groupie okay i feel like this person is not a groupie i don't fight like you are but i feel like a lot of people like this person okay i feel like a lot of people tend to like this person i feel like this person could come off as a little charming and possibly very nice looking and i feel like a lot of people fall for this person you know and then we have idol Love, respected, admired, idolized fan. And I feel like you guys could be an idol. I feel like you guys are, you know, loved and respected. And I feel like that's why they feel so bad. Because I feel like usually the maybe the other girls that they meet or the other guys that they meet, they're not, like, they haven't met somebody like your type. And that could be another reason why they felt bad, you know, like, about everything they did. Bad habits, drugs, addiction, toxicities. So I feel like this person could have bad habits, okay? Um... For some of you guys, this a few of you guys, because there's a female here, and I see the some certain cards where somebody was like so caught up and wrapped up in this person that their habits became yours. Some of you guys start doing drugs and start doing stuff while hanging with this person. Okay, they were lacing your weed. You guys are doing coke together, or getting higher, getting drunk, doing stuff, and I feel like you kind of like slipped out of how you normally are because of this person. And now you're you're like you're gonna go back to how you were and who you were. Okay, because the King of Wands reverse can be somebody very manipulative. Okay, curious about you. This person is thinking about you. Um, I was just very curious to get to know you. I feel like I said you guys are different. And I feel like you guys will soon be unbothered. Okay, you're going to be unbothered after all of this happens if you are not already. And they're going to be trying to come back and kissing your ass. Okay, we have kissing ass. And then we have crying over you, sad, hurt, upset. 
okay yeah so remember for some of you guys when i said like if you reach out to them um they're gonna try to like lie and act like they don't know you or whatever girl fight arguments physical fight at work competing i can't tell y'all what to do but all i would say is at 35 it's my fiance ever if i ever found out anything i'm not gonna fight i'm damn sure i'm not fighting i'm not fucking up my face i'm not breaking the nail i'm not giving that person no energy so hopefully he know better because i'm not it's gonna be a girl fight though and it doesn't have to be that it's gonna be physical but it says arguments and physical physical fighting at war and i just feel like this person is not worth fighting for or over i don't feel like it's worth you physically fighting of course you guys may get into an argument or something i mean shit happens or argument yeah but at but at the end of the day guess what this person was a player and not to say like this play both of y'all play games with both of y'all so it's not it wouldn't even be appropriate or cute to me for y'all to fight the fight the other girl or the other person to try to fight y'all when whoever y'all were both dating is a problem okay and then we have fishing for comments so somebody's gonna be all up in your comments are they gonna be all up in your comments or somebody's gonna be all up in the comments or you know what i'm saying or if not just like liking all your stuff this person is gonna be extra triggered as soon as you dust it off, they're going to be extra, extra triggered. We have karmic friends. For some of you guys, it's a friend involved. Okay? But I don't want to go there. We're just going to keep it here. Keep it like this. Okay? So, guys. They're going to get back karmic by how they did it. Okay? They will. They are. They are. And like I said, this person lied. And their intentions just weren't good. They weren't pure. Like I said, I feel like the time they spent with you guys, I feel like they really did like you. They were really into you guys. But, um... This person was on some bullshit. For real, for real. Um... Where's my little work on it? Oh, it's right here. Let's pull from the real shit oracle deck and then I'm out, okay? Um, so I might upload you guys another reading. Look, some of you guys can be a tarot card reader. Some of you guys read cards. Some of you guys can just be booking a tarot card reading and listening to tarot readers. Okay? This all depends. Everybody's situation is different. Give me some messages for this reading, please, universe. We have needs therapy that came out. Give me a couple more messages. So, yeah, some of you guys are going to need therapy after this or this person needs therapy, they need help. Okay, maybe this is an addiction or something that they always do. We have toxic. We got toxic here again. So, this is confirms that this person is very toxic or this is going to be a toxic situation. I do feel like y'all look good together. But even though y'all look good together, this person is just not good for you guys. It could have been love at first sight. Okay, um, but I just feel like even though you guys look good together, it's they just... They must, they could be fine, but they fine and toxic. Look, see, washed up player. For some of you guys, this person is older. So it's like you, you washed, you washed up in a player. And I feel like you guys, it says wants to get married. And I feel like you guys want to get married. And I feel like if you guys want marriage and children and stuff, I don't feel like this is a person that is going to give you that. It says time to replace them. So that would definitely make sense. Okay. Somebody could be bisexual um, or on the down low. Am I right? We have smokes, pop pills, or does both. All right, so we already seen that with the bad habits. Give me a couple more cards. And to top it off, this person is broke. Okay? So they don't got shit to show for. They broke, and they're doing all this. And that's probably why they're going back to the person they're investing in, because maybe that person is going to take care of them and raise them, you know? What did um, K. Michelle say? You can't raise them in. Okay? And we have you deserve better. So, it's the cards are saying you deserve better, but better is going to come in for you guys. It's saying watch your back, but just protecting children energy. I don't know what you guys need to watch your back for. I feel like it's because this person is, is going to be upset and crying over you and doing dumb stuff. That's what I feel. I don't fight they're going to do anything to like hurt you or anything like that. Unless it's the girl that or somebody trying to fight you guys. We have third party relationship. And look, after it's all said and done, you guys are going to get a good man while they're spying on you guys. And it's saying, like, block them. You guys are going to block them because they're nothing but a fuckboy. And I see you guys need a vacation. Take your vacation. Enjoy your life. Do you. And let this good man come in. Okay? Because this third-party relationship and this person, they not it. 
It's not it. It's they're not it. All right. So that is what I have for you guys for today. Um. Yeah, I did want to clarify hitting the clouds real quick with the what's brewing deck. Let's see. Why is a uh, head in the clouds? Game over, trash, and player. Squirt somebody's player into games. Because this person knew they were playing games. And they were a piece of trash. Well, I'm not going to talk about your person. But it says throwing away, getting rid of, tossing out. Or this person was in their head. Because they were, they thought that they can get, a, get uh, rid of the other situation. And that's not what they're going to do. Or like I said, somebody thought this was going to be just like a hit it, quit it, a fling. And they were just going to just end it like it was nothing. But the game was over. Okay. And I feel like how they thought things were going to unfold did not unfold that way. And that's why their head was in the clouds. So their loss, not yours. You guys are getting a new man or a new woman in an upgrade. All right. So that is what I have for you, Fire Fam. If you guys love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. I will um, put the information for the, um, the September special in the comments like I told you guys. What was something else I was going to say? I forgot. If you like the reading, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell and our follow. And don't forget to check out my online shop, guys. I added some new oils and some new bracelets. Um, I have new crystals coming. So, um, yes, check it out. I did I did update it a little bit and change some things. So, definitely check out the website, mytearsifehealedmyheart.com. All right? I love you, Fire Fam. Bye, y'all.